Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 6th of 2022, well, it is titled Arendelle, a star in the early universe. So what do we see here? Well, this is a Hubble Space Telescope image looking back uh, very far to the very early history of the universe. Now we see a number of different things here, including some galaxies, and in fact, looking at the cluster of galaxies. And most of the objects that you see there in the white are all galaxies, very distant. However, they're, they, while they're distant, there are many things behind them. And we see the dotted line called the magnification line. When light passes through a galaxy cluster, it gets magnified. So light from more distant stars and galaxies will get magnified. And anything very close to that magnification line, the closer you are to that line, the more the magnification will be. And that this is called gravitational lensing. And it is one of the properties predicted by Einstein's general theory of relativity that explains how light is bent when it passes through a gravitational field. Now, when we look at this, we see that Arendelle is right on the magnification line, in fact, right on it. And the closer you are to that, the greater the magnification will be. So this is a very extreme magnification, allowing us to see perhaps this very single star from the early history of the universe within the first billion years after the universe formed. So it gives us a chance to try to study some of these very early stars. And really massive stars like this did do not live for a very long time. So none of those that formed early on in the history of the universe are still around. Many of these massive stars only live a million years or maybe a couple million years. So the ones that we can see like this, we're getting a picture and a glimpse as to what stars were like in the very early universe. And we find as we would expect, and hopefully uh, further observations of Irindel will help us to be able to see this better, and to get a better spectrum of it to understand. But what we expect we'll find is primarily hydrogen and helium. One of what we call the elusive population three stars from the very early history of the universe that were made just of the elements that formed right after the Big Bang. So we expect as we look at this star more closely, we would see a lot of hydrogen and helium and very little traces of the heavier elements as there had not been enough time for them to expand out from other stars that had formed previously. So when we could find something from that first generation of stars, we should see that they are made up only of hydrogen and helium. And that gives us that glimpse back to the history a very early history of the universe. So future studies with Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescope, which will be working, uh, is being calibrated now and will be ready for science in just a few months, will hopefully be able to look at this object and tell us a little more about this little bit from the very early history of our universe. So that was our picture of the day for April 6th of 2022. It was titled Irindel, a star in the early universe. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.